Okay. I, you told me to be straight. You on the phone, and I'm trying to sit here and tell my own husband every little detail, everything. You think I don't want my family? Eric, uh, teacher, listen. Uh, like I said the whole time, I'm just trying, trying to help you and trying to keep you and Harley safe from all. I mean, these people are after me now. I don't know who the hell it is, but I, like I said, I had to go get my clothes changed and everything just so I could blend in better. And I want you to know that no matter what, no matter, no matter what, we can work through this together, and I can help you. Okay? But you just gotta let me help you. But I have a very, you told me to be straight up. I got a very straight up question. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Did you kill Gannon? I need to know. I need you to answer me yes or no right now. I kill Gannon. Did the you? answer is no. I can't believe you asked me this. I just got to know you. I told me to be straight up. I got to know what's happening to my son. I Tell me why you would think I killed Gannon. There's a, there's a lot of unknowns. I mean, you I, I, being straight up again, you changed your story again to me for the fourth time. No, I changed my story. You did. This is the fourth version of the same story. Okay. I, wow. I, 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 like half of what you told me today, with the cut foot, and now he's got burned arms and picking it, and his butt's bleeding. All this stuff is is new to what you told me the other day. And the other day you told me to cl you cleaned up the area where you got raped so nobody would see it. But now you told me you just changed clothes. I just don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't tell you. First off, you never even listened to me about anything that went. I on. did. I no. You stopped because I listened to you. I listened to you, and then I went and got the guns and put them in the truck, and then I came back and listened, me and Landon listened to you, and then I stopped and picked your story apart. So get it straight, Tisha. I listened to you, and I said, if I'm wrong about the rape, I will get on my knees and beg you for forgiveness. Did I not say that? Yeah, but you haven't. Exactly, because I haven't been proven wrong yet. I want the truth. If I'm wrong, if the, if, if the, the police, no matter what they're doing, the FBI, the CBI, the CBS, whoever... Okay, if they tell me I'm wrong, I will publicly, in front of the world, get on a camera and tell you I'm sorry. But until that happens, we're going to find the truth. How can you tell me that someone didn't come? I don't understand. How can you tell me that someone didn't do something to hurt me and take in? I'm, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you it hasn't been proven one way or the other. You said you banged your head on the freaking table. I, now i got to tell them to go check out the table and see if there's any blood or, or any of your... Do that. They had already asked that. Okay, but that's the first I heard of it. You see what you see what I'm saying? You never would talk to me. You literally just sat here in a conversation and asked me, did I kill our child? Yes, I did because I, I because if you say no, then I can't. I I'll stop thinking that you did it. Okay. Dad, that's horrible. I don't know what to think. My the, my son's blood. You're telling me his blood's all over the walls, and now you're telling they telling me uh, the Mexican guy that had the gun to your head or whatever took him away, and he knows him, and he could be anywhere. Gun. So so where did you get that piece from? That was where that. So now you got me twisting all your stories up because that was from the first time you told me the rape story. That he had a gun to your head. And you told me it was your so, gun. So, so. You told me. But you first you told me it was your gun, so that's fine. I'm I'm not debating the points here, but I said the black one. Okay. Okay, fine, but I mean You know in your heart I would never hurt Gannon. I yes, I, I absolutely believe that. I, but I'm doing everything I can to help you right now. It'd be, it'd, but but Tisha, listen. Tisha, listen, the thing is, if you don't but it's not just it. I asked you if, you if you killed him. You said no. And I'm sorry. That was a hard question. But if you know anything or you did anything or are just upset about it, we can we can work together and I can help you. But I can't help you if you don't tell me anything. It's just there's so many unknowns, Tisha. Oh, my God. I mean, was what did anything happen that was an accident that you just that you're scared about? Really? I'm just trying to teach you. You know, you know, with my army training, I'm trained to do to ask all these questions to get us in a safe place, right? And that's why I took the guns out from the get go. That's just my training kicking in. Oh my god, I really thought, like, I, I thought out of this conversation, like, I really thought you were going to be supportive of me. I thought you were going to bring your family back together. And I thought that we were going to talk about 
everything, every single day of nothing but dance. That's what I'm trying to do. First second, you would ask me to I can't believe that. Well, I'm glad you said no. That that gives me a lot of hope and peace. Okay, 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 Tisha. Let me ask you this way then. I don't believe you killed him, but did did something bad happen to him? And he maybe maybe he is dead or not with us anymore. And and you just panicked and didn't know what to do. I mean, is there anything like that? Just any information is what I need. I just just I can we can help you. I can help you get through this. But it's, I mean, but we got to know the information about Bubba. I mean, just think of, I mean. Really, yeah, I'll... Yes, I'm just trying to figure out what happened to him. He's gone and nobody knows anything, but you were the last one to hear him speak. Okay, you, which was Monday when you were driving around and he left the house. The last time we heard him speak, I, I don't know. I don't know when that was. Before I left, probably. When I left and he went downstairs to watch Pokemon, that's the last memory I have of him. Now, but let me tell you something. People don't have the life that I have. People don't just be a normal person, just doing their thing, finally have what they want to do and be in the sky working. Oh, they don't do that. People premeditate things in life. There is no sign or indications of anything that I would have ever heard of those children. I fought for you. I fought for them. Yes, you did. You fought for all of us. You're right. I'm not I'm not questioning any of that, Tisha. I, I just was did it, did an accident happen? I mean, other than the candle or the burn? I don't know. I'm just trying to ask all the questions. I work with kid children long enough, Albert. If an accident happened, I'm smart enough, I know what to do. I've had plenty of friends who've been in situations where they've been in the classroom. They accidentally dropped the kid. The kid might have broke their leg. You go to the people, you tell them it's an accident, and you work through it. Okay, so all right, you made a, you, you, you also said something that was calmed my heart you know, tremendously about Bubba that, you know, basically you didn't premeditate anything. So whatever happened to him had to be an accident, just like the candle. And you, I mean, obviously you didn't, you wouldn't plan on something like that because you're a teacher and you do all those babysitting events. I know you wouldn't hurt kids intentionally, but whatever happened was an accident. And I know you didn't plan it. I didn't have anything to do with it. Why are you saying this to me? So, so he he would have had to have died naturally, then. Other than and he's dead. I, I I don't know, Tisha. I can't even believe you are saying that. Get it in the life. What's wrong with you? Because it's just the, this. None of this makes any sense. I mean, he would have been found by now. Okay. He didn't, the, all the cameras, all that footage shows him not leaving the house other than in the truck. And I just, I, 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 like I said, I'm just trying to help you get through this. Help me? Yes, help you. Because help, help me get through this. Because, I, yes, I am trying to help you. I want to know what happened to Gannon and try to help you and keep Harley safe and everything that I've said the whole time because that's who I am and you know that. See what y'all think. This is what y'all think. Y'all think somebody's going to come in here and say something just to appease everyone. But a true person who is completely innocent, you can keep beating me down in the ground all you want to because I didn't do it. I'm not beating you down. You think, you don't want me anymore? Fine. You don't want our family anymore? Fine. You took my car. You took I didn't take anything. They got all my shit too, Tisha. 
I, I, I got two cars now because Harley's not going to pay for it. I got two cars I got to pay for that I'm, I can't even see or touch. I'm begging you. No, she has it. That I know. So I. You every day, Albert. Why are you not with your wife? Because you want to be so honest and ask questions. Why are you not with your wife and daughter? Because okay, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Because of this conversation, Tisha. I don't know, and I've told you that the whole time. I'm confused. I'm all over the place. I just can't. I can't get the truth from you or the police. Or nobody. And now, you're, now, you know, it's just even worse now because I got another story. I've got to try to make a theory from. Another story. This is a, you have never talked to me. But you just told me. You told me a few minutes ago. We had uh, and we went over it. I. You told me the first story. No. You first. You told me he ran away. Then it was the rape story. Then it was the second rape story. Now it's the third rape story. I can't believe you just said the rape story. I'm. I'm. I'm just. What do you want me to call it? The the story of Gannon disappearing. Okay. You told me the first version of that. The second version, and now the third version. You a second or third version? Yes. Come, you sit down and talk to me. No, that day that I got home, no, the day I got home, that next morning after my mom and sister and Landon and everybody was at the house, you you told me you were texting Bethel, and you told her the story. I don't know what you told her, and I, I kind of don't even... Yes, yes, you do. I don't even care. No. I had you all there. Had us where? My God, I can't believe you're lying to me right now. About what? I'm not lying to you about anything, Tisha. No. They had y'all at the police department when I was there. Oh, oh, you mean when when Landon showed up and then they brought, you know, I was already there or whatever? Is that what you're talking about? Because that's the only time I know, I don't even know when you're there. I just assumed you had finally come in that night. Or was it the next day you came in? I don't even know, Tisha. You were there because she was talking to you there. Who was? Bethel. She was talking to me at the police station? Yes. I, I, honestly, most of most of my talking was with uh, Mark, the other guy that was at Starbucks. So I I don't know what you mean. She was talking to me. I think I might have talked to. I think I talked to her for like ten or fifteen minutes. I'm, if I'm not. did not did not tell you anything different. This is all my day when I was going to lay down. Hey, now. hey, Tisha, 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 I believe you, okay? I, what I want you to answer for me is those simple questions. Did, did anything, did, did Gannon die and you just freaked out, or was there an accident involved? Did you kill him? I, answer all those questions. Those are the ones that I want to know, okay? I don't care about who talked to who, when we went where. That, honestly, at, that, at this point, none of that freaking matters. What matters is that little 11-year-old boy is, is either out there or he's not, and I got to know that. And you're the only one that has any information regarding that. I gave you that information and you're not going to look for it. No, but you you didn't, you ignored my question. I, I mean, answer those questions for me. That's the first question. All right. Did you kill Gannon? No. Okay. Did you, did Gannon die on your watch, whether it was an accident or naturally from some injury? No. Okay. Did Gannon have an accident of, of a serious nature and you freak out and cover it up? No. So the answer is to no to all of that. Correct. Okay. Now, these, this is going to be very uncomfortable for you, even more uncomfortable than what I just asked you. But did Harley kill Gannon? God, no. Okay, does she, any of the same questions, does she have anything to do with an accident, a cover up? Was she. Involved in this at all with you? No. I haven't been involved either. So I just, but, but so something, so there's a blank somewhere that I just, you have not filled the blank. So. How have I not filled the blank? It's. You, so you don't think for a second that someone came in the house and took Gannon? You don't think that? I don't doubt that. I don't know what to believe, but I'm not doubting you. I'm just having to ask all these questions. So, you know. <sighs> I begged you. I begged you. I said, hey, let us all be together. Look at me and my eyes 
and ask me that question. Feel it in your heart and ask me that question. Well, but but you gotta you gotta look at it from my perspective. Okay, first of all, uh, and I got a couple things to say, so let me get through it. These these stories, just like I've said the whole time, they don't sound legit to me. They just don't add up. They're not true. Something is off from every story because there's different versions. So that's number one. Number two. I've only talked to you once. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But you got to put yourself in my shoes. Okay. What the hell would you do if this was Harley? Okay. And, and you didn't have all the information. How would you put all these pieces together? So, I mean, you got from my glasses. How am I supposed to put all these pieces together when I don't even have... A third of the pieces. I'm just trying to fit the piece, find the pieces, and get them together. You want me to answer that question? Which one? The one about what if it was Harley? Yeah. Yeah. Answer that question. Okay. So as soon as you tell me this, when when I get off the phone, I will have my husband and my children together in a home, and our office will be praying, and we will be on the phone with the detectives, and we will be saying, "Listen, I support my husband." And we need we need to find someone over here. If somebody had to see something. Ask them again. Do something. We will be putting a fucking alert out everywhere. We will be putting a description out everywhere. We will close the fucking borders from Colorado to all of them, up and down ninety five, because at least the fucking Mexico. Ninety five. What? What? That shit. Why would I'm you? Eighty five. Whatever. Eighty five. Twenty-five. This oh. is the state, at least in Mexico. Well, you please be careful when you say those things because then they're going to start looking up and down ninety-five on the East Coast. Okay. Sorry. And that's not going to help us. It, I mean, since you know he's not over there, that's not going to help us if they get sent over there. Okay. So, so, but, but you didn't answer my question. How am I supposed to put all these pieces together? You're telling me let's go home and pray, and I've been praying my, I was just praying nonstop. Okay, but. You know, we got to have action, too. So, I, so here, I, listen, I got to go because now I'm, now I'm freaking, everybody's going to start questioning me at the house. Where have you been? What are you doing? Are you involved? I'm, I'm going to get all those questions now. So, I... The house? Who are you staying with? We, Uncle Jeff and then freaking Veronica and all them that are all over the place. Okay, so... Why would you have to be anywhere near them? I don't have to be, but you saw we had Why to do... Listen... And your daughter. Tisha, listen, I had to do these statements and interviews and all this shit. It's just nonstop. Every day is something else. Okay, so if, if you think if you think all this information is what they need, apparently the, the El Paso people haven't done their job and they haven't forwarded it to the FBI. So I'm I, I don't know. There's some Amber lady called me from the FBI and I'm going to just email you her number and her name. And if you want to pass this information to her, that's much higher than the freaking CBS or whatever you call it. Yeah, because they've called everyone I know. Okay, well then, that's what... You can tell them too. Okay, I, but I don't have the document you have. So I, anyways, I'm just going to send you the contact, and if you want it, you take it. If not, I can't make you do anything. But I got to go, okay? Yeah, but that's not how you would say trying to find your son. You would not say, if you don't want to do anything, then blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true, because I can't... <laughs> I wanted you with me the whole time, and you left. So I'm going to give you the information you need to pass your stuff along, and then you can do that, okay? Listen to me. We don't have anywhere to stay. I'm asking you to stay with your wife and daughter, and let's do this together. And you tell me no if you think that you don't give a shit about us, and you don't want that. You tell me no right now. Tell you no? You tell me yes. If you want your family together because you believe I me. I wanted my family together. No, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I wanted my family together the whole time. And listen, I you're not letting me help you. So I recommend that you get in talk, contact with this Amber lady because she offered me help and safety because I told her what I was going through. And she, I, I'm sure they'll do the same thing for you, especially all that you've been through with the... You're telling me about the social media stuff and people chasing you around, you said in the email. So I'm going to send you her contact information, okay, and then you decide whether or not to contact her to, to find protection for yourself and get them this information, okay? But I got to go, okay? I got to go, Tisha. I got to go. The question. What, what I said. I said I wanted you to be together, but I got to go, okay? I got to go. Bye. Bye.
getting Mr. Stout back up on the Okay, seat. Mr. Stout, if you would resume your seat on the witness stand, I remind you, sir, that you're still under oath. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. At the time of this call, Mr. Stout, did um, you know the defendant's location? I did not, no, sir. You can move that microphone closer to you if you want to, so you don't have to lean over. Right. Yeah, the chair the chair doesn't move. Everybody makes that mistake, but the microphone does. Thank you. At the very beginning of that call, uh, it seemed like there was a disconnect uh, where the phone dropped or something like that. 